In this video, we are going to discuss about internal stability and determinacy. As we have already discussed in our previous video, that internal stability is calculated with respect to members. So, the internally unstable structures are those structures if it is a statically unstable structure with the development of the mechanism only on certain parts of the components of structure. For example, here is a beam. So, this beam consists of internal pin. Upon the application of loading, this pin will try to move in downward direction. So, this member becomes unstable. Here is another example. So, this is a frame. Roller support on this side and pin connection on this side. So, upon application of load, so this member will try to move horizontal direction. So, this is also an internally unstable structure. So, both structures are externally stable but internally unstable due to the arrangement of the members. So, this is the generalized formula for estimating internally statically degree of indeterminacy where di refers to degree of indeterminacy, r is total number of support creation, nm refers to member forces, nj refers to total number of independent equilibrium equations, so ec refers to the total number of internal conditions or internal release. So now let's discuss the internal member forces. So stress resultant in any cross section of the member could be axial force, bending moment, shear force and torque. So for example, for axial or press member, we have got one member force and two joint forces. For flexural members or beam members, we have got two member forces and two joint forces. And for frame member, we have got three member forces and three joint forces. So let's calculate the internal degree of indeterminacy for the plane truss. So this is the generalized formula in order to calculate the degree of indeterminacy. And this is the specific formula for the plane truss members in order to calculate the internal degree of indeterminacy. So here is the criteria for truss members in order to signify the member is unstable, determinate and internally indeterminate. So let's discuss one example. This is the truss. Roller support on this side, pin support on this side. We need to count the members. So there are eight members. We need to count the joints. So there are eight number of joints and total number of unknown deactions are three. So based on the formula, B plus R is equals to 2J. So we just need to insert the values in this formula. B is eight, R is three, J is six. So this becomes 11 is less than 12. So based on the condition, if B plus R is less than 2J, so this is internally unstable. Here is an example for frame structure. So again for frame structure, as we have discussed, we have got three member forces and three joint forces. So count the members, so we have got six members. Again count the number of joints, so we have got six joints and number of unknown deaction, three on this side, three on this side, so six. Put these values in this formula and it is 24 is greater than 18 structure is internally stable and indeterminate and degree of indeterminacy is 6. Classify the structure as internally stable and stable. So solve this example and write your answer in the comment section with reason.